In this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to make guns. Before we make guns, we need stuff to shoot, right? So now, create a new scene, click on other nodes, search area 2D node, and click create. Name it bullet, next add the sprite node and add a collision shape to the node. For the sprite node in the inspector texture, I have a bullet sprite which I have used in a lot of games. Therefore, there's a link in the description to download it. Now drag and drop the sprites to the texture in the inspector. I will adjust mine a bit. Next, click on the collision shape and click on shape in the inspector. Click capsule and adjust like so. Now control S to save the scene. Now let's make the bullet move so it can hit its target. Now click on the bullet and click on that scroll thingy to add a script and click create. Now add this variable speed which is set to 500. That's how fast our bullets will move. Next create the physics process function and under it put down this code. Position plus or equals transform dot x times delta times speed. This will make the bullet move forward when it is spawned. Now F6 to run the scene. You might not see anything cause it's too fast but congrats the bullet moves. Now let's make la pistol. Create a new scene and click on the 2D scene, rename it as Pistol. Add a sprite node and a position 2D node and an animation player node. Then click on sprite and on text, drag and drop a pistol sprite. I will zoom in a bit. Next, rename the position 2D node to B for bullet spawn points. Yeah, this is where our bullets will spawn from, else it will spawn from yeah, which is kind of weird. Next, click on animation player node and on the panel will pop up at the bottom of dots. Click on animation and click on new and call it shoot. Now, this is the timeline for points of each animation and that is how long the animation will take. And you can loop the animation by clicking that is a switch and, and also that if you want the animation to play once you run the scene. You can check out the docs for more. Next, click on the sprite and on the inspector, you will notice some keys just appeared. Those are used to add keyframes in the animation player node. Now, we want to move the pistol back and forth when it shoots. So, head over to transform and click on the key thingy and you will create a new track frame to animate the sprite's position. Note, we are animating the sprite, not the parents. Now, click on create and a dot will appear. Now, click on 0.5 and move the sprite backward a bit and click on the key at the position tab in the inspector to add a new keyframe and click on one. Yeah, we want the pistol to return to its original position. So click on the point at zero and left click. Now click duplicate and voila, it's done. To test it out, click on the loop button and press play. Mine is looking good. So now unloop it and let's take a break. Is it me or is it getting kind of cold every day? Alright, now let's add a script to the pistol by clicking on this pistol and then the scroll thingy and click create. Now we need to load bullets for spawning. To do that, we would use the preload function which loads a scene, a scene before the game run. You can even access the scene nodes and properties from the script. Now we are going to preload the bullets. Head over to the file manager and click on the bullet scene and left click and click on copy part and paste it and close the parentheses. Remember to add the quotation marks because it takes a string argument. Now create a process function but before we, before we proceed we need to add a shoot action by clicking on project, project settings, input maps and write shoot and press enter on your keyboard and you have added an action. Now click on the plus icon and click key and press space in your keyboard. So when we press space, we want to shoot stuff. Now head back to the script and write, if you build that this action, press shoot. This is if we press shoot under its var b equals bullet dot instance. This instance is the bullet in the scene. Next b dot position equals get the b spawn point dot global position. Remember get the b spawn point is the position to the node so the bullets will be spawned wherever this guy is and I use global position because sometimes it gets buggy when loaded in another scene. Next get parent dot add shall be. These are the bullet to the scene so we see it and the parent for now well is the scene tree itself. Okay now bring the pistol down a bit and run the scene. Now if you press shoot a lot of bullets is spawned without control and that's not how gun works in real life. So we need to add a cooldown. Head over to the pistol scene and click on the animation player and on the inspector on node signals and add an animation finish signal. Next create a new variable and call it fire and set it to true. 
this will create the code that we want next on the process function that can fire right there now this means if we press shoot and we can fire run this code but we first need to switch it up so we can shoot again and then on the animation finish can fire equals true what we just did is we made the piece only able to fire when the animation player finishes playing the shoots animation therefore the faster the animation more bullets get spawned and by the way i just adjusted the pixel shoot animation time to 0 0.5 seconds and moved the points to 0 0.0 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 so it's faster next on the process for sure right animation player the play shoot now everything's already seen and press shoots and stuff happens and that's it with it you probably can't create any gun or projector firing weapon you can think of for example for the ak-47 i just made the animation last for 0.3 seconds and also in the script i made the position move up and down to reduce its accuracy by changing the bullet spawn position why every time we shoot game just stuff and lastly the sound effects let's get this done Click on your AK-47 and add a shout node and audio stream player node and rename it to SFX. And I have a machine gun SFX, so drag and drop it on the stream property in Inspector. Next, in the script, in process function, write FXX.play. This will play the sound effect every time we shoot. And run the scene, and that's it. It sounds, it shoots, and it's... yeah. Also, the pistol uses the same sound effect but they sound differently. I wonder why. If you know why, let me know in the comments. If you want to know how to shoot left or right, there's a tutorial to that in the description or at the end of the video or a link somewhere in the screen. But before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. I'm Desus and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.